Welcome to Part 3 of the Checkout System Demonstration Series. In Part 2, we created our first requirement and function pair. Now we will start working more with our requirements. Although requirements can be edited at any time and be reflected in your model, entering all the information you have at the beginning is a great start. In a top-down design, we would normally begin decomposing the requirements, and we'll do that now. In systems engineering, decompose simply means to break something out into its parts. At the first level of decomposition, the requirement check out customers would probably break down into ascertain prices, determine total, and accept payment. Create these by successively double clicking on the requirement class on the All Entities tab and creating and naming the three new requirements. We can then drag these requirements from the list onto the Checkout Customers requirement, still showing in the hierarchy diagram. As we do this, Core prompts us with the Refines relationship as the relationship for this context, and we'll accept that default by clicking OK. We will repeat this so that all three of the new requirements have been added to our diagram. At this point, we will apply a numbering scheme to the new requirements. Core can number these for us. Right-click on Checkout Customers, then select Renumber Element. Define the number for the top element, in this case 1, then click OK. The hierarchy diagram now shows the top-level requirement, Checkout Customers, as the basis of the function, Checkout Customers, and refined by the three requirements, Ascertain Prices, determine total, and accept payment. We will now decompose these requirements one more level. Looking at our requirement, ascertain prices, we recognize that it will require the system to both determine the price of each item and to report each price to the system so that it can become part of the total charged to the customer. Therefore, we need to decompose this requirement into two requirements, determine item price, and Report Price to System. In the All Entities tab, we create these two requirements by double-clicking the requirement class as we did before and giving each its name. Now drop each of these onto Ascertain Prices and accept the default relationship. Each of the other two requirements is decomposed in the same way. Determine total is broken down into store item prices and calculate total. Accept payment decomposes to accept cash, accept checks, and accept credit cards. We've now created a few sets of parent-child relationships. Note that child requirements are refinements of the parent requirement, essentially breaking out the parent into its most basic parts. With those child requirements created and properly associated, we are ready to renumber the requirements. This concludes Part 3 of the Checkout System Demonstration Series. This is a good time to save your work. Once you've saved, go back to our screencast page to view Part 4 of the Checkout System Demonstration Series.